So I should have made this video when it happened, but there was a big storm on the weekend and both the big trees in the backyard were blown down. Not one, not a branch, both. One cut off at the trunk and one was um, let loose by the roots, just ripped right out. So it's pretty cool. I'll do a um, video now. The thing is, I have trimmed a bit of the been into it with the chainsaw a bit, just trimming it up ready. Even though I think insurance removes it all. We'll see. So here's a before and an after after it gets totally clear. So let's have a look. It's tree number one, which was not actually quite sure, it was really nice, but it was like a weeping elm of some kind, I think. That's the one that snapped off about two meters high at the trunk. You can see where I've been up trimming it a bit. Fell probably the best way it could. Only damaged the fence a real little bit. Picnic table's under there somewhere. <laughs> now the other one. There it is, the good old blackwood it's a nice big old tree As you can see pulled up by the roots it was really really windy and that one came down on the fence which is in the course of being fixed by insurance who have been very good so far The chickens are in there at the moment. The um, insurance is built, it actually pops some ply up to stop them getting in and out. Oh, there's one chicken. I don't know how they like being locked up, but water, food. I trimmed a bit of the head out of him. I don't know how the chook shed is surviving, but I had a look in there and it's knocked all the cobwebs off the roof where the tree thumped into it. And you can feel that there's a bit of weight on it, but it's still standing, bloody thing. It's slowly sinking into the ground as it rots into the ground because it's just sitting on the ground, but it's been like that ever since I've been here. Man, crazy. So there it is, poor old tree. That one would have been good if it had fallen that way because that bit of fence there is the worst bit. It's going to be really open in, back here now. Hmm. Here's a little chainsaw I've been using. A partner 1616 Chainsaw Deluxe. I believe that's a uh, 70s era chainsaw. I know it's uh, got a little bit of weight with it. But there, I'll come back and have a look once uh, it's all been cleared. If the insurance clears it all. I've just been cutting it up for firewood for the new shack. Here we are again after the trees have been cleaned up. Certainly made a distant difference to the backyard. The backyard with all the trees gone. Certainly opened it up a bit. A little bit of wood. Put all the big stuff up. Had the fence fixed. Awesome job. Cleaned up some of the pallets, still some left. Ran these, you might remember from the lead thing. Ran those along there because a lot of water comes through there, it'll just help shoot it down. Let's check out the big one. There it is. 
a big stump. Just thrown some old pallets over there. I'm going to put a fire underneath and start burning a bit of it off every now and again. Help dry it out. Burn it away. It's going to take a while. Big old black wood. A lot more Log, little logs over here. Split a little bit of it. <laughs> Not much. Yeah. After effects of the wind. <laughs>